Have you ever wondered what the grocery stores are like in Vietnam? Well, I wanted to share about our trip to MM Mega Mart in Ho Chi Minh, in case you were curious. I am a full-time travel mama. You can come with me and my four boys grocery shopping. Okay, so this was our first superstore we've been to, and I was happy to know we could get just about anything here. And it was sort of a cross between Walmart and Home Depot. It was sort of like Costco. This is the eggs that were about a dollar per dozen and we got six dozen eggs they had a butcher there where the pork meat was hanging from the ceiling and the kids had never really seen that then they had this huge seafood section full of aquariums and fish on ice it reminded me of when i would go to the pet store when i was little except this time it was huge fish tanks for sale, for food, a lot of fish on ice, and even one that was still wiggling. And the lady walking by was eyeing this fish, and she sure did bag that fish up and take it home with her. She bought that fish because she saw how fresh it was. The kids loved seeing all different kinds of fish and seafood for sale. And you just don't see this in grocery stores in Texas, at least where I'm from where I've lived in Texas. I'm sure there are some places, maybe by the coast, some places in other parts of the US, so don't come after me. I know there's lots of things in the US that I haven't seen, but in the places that I have lived, you just don't typically see this. In Texas, they just don't have a lot of seafood swimming around for purchase. So we were enamored by everything that we saw there. And then onto the produce. Oh my goodness, this was a huge produce area. Tons of fruits and vegetables and a bunch of it. You have to have your produce weighed before you leave the produce section. And this is the third time I had gotten to the checkout without actually weighing my stuff in the produce. So I had to go all the way back. But as I'm checking out, I'm eyeing the person in front of me to make sure that I know how they're doing it, how they check out, make sure I don't miss anything. I'm in a new country. They don't speak the language, but it was pretty much all the same. I could just use my card. I was supposed to have a membership card. I didn't have it, but thankfully they let me through anyway without any problems. We headed out and just so you know how much we spent, we spent 2,058,000 dong worth of groceries and supplies, which ended up to be about $81. We always like to laugh that we're spending $2 million on groceries. We all piled into the grab and headed home. Follow along to hear more about our travel adventures in Vietnam from sleeper trains to beaches to food and more coming up.